Welcome back to Skiddy Automotive. So today uh, we're doing a few different things. The first thing I'm getting underneath the truck to get out the uh, fuel lines. I don't really know how I'm going to do it yet. I'm just going to figure out how to get it all out. Um, then we are going to be putting the transmission to the motor and getting that put into the truck to mock it up to get it ready for like measurements for the drive shaft and the motor mounts to be in the right spot. So keep on watching. Okay, so I got these that I got to take out, which they come down here, go to here, and all the way back there. So, that's what I'm going to try to do for right now. Okay, so I got these out, and now there's some right here. Okay. Okay, so I got those out. I gotta tell you, uh, the mud that is caked under this truck is just crazy. I don't know if you can see that. But, got that out, and now I gotta get this out, those, and get all those out up there. I technically was down there at some point. Uh, it just wasn't working out very well, so Dad got under there. <laughs> it took him like five seconds. So we got it out. You know, I'm kind of mad because that's brand new. We got that sucker right before Bristol. <sighs> okay, so I got the uh, I got them drilled out thanks to Tullux. Um and then the burrs. I just I just sanded those down and I just put a coat of engine paint on it now we're gonna install them don't drop it <laughs> my name's not Haley <laughs> <laughs> no we were just talking about so we got the new oil pan and we just cleaned it last night with brake clean and I didn't realize brake clean takes paint off so I left that rag on top of there <laughs> so I just had to spray it again <laughs> And that's what took off right there. <laughs> okay, so these are good to zip them on, but you always need to, to just crank them down. Because we, we don't need this falling apart. You go the right way. My Titan said, Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Upside down is opposite. What? <laughs> Upside down is opposite. Because right now I'm going righty tighty. Yeah, because you're trying but, to but tighten yet, it down. If I'm looking down on it, I'm going left. I'm confused. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Are we ready to put her in? No. no. <laughs> we have. Uh, I need more. I need uh, bolts and the, the hopefully the and the intake mask the, the, the gasket gaskets. that you have in your car. Hopefully, because you <laughs> told me that we didn't need one now, uh, so you better go find it. So now this is going to be our engine plate uh, to lift it. Um, I gotta. I'm just gonna put the uh, intake gasket in there just for a filler. I'm not gonna torque it down. I'm just gonna tighten it just because I need it tight and all for, to lift it here. But other than that, I'm gonna take this back off and we're gonna RTV, we're gonna do that whole night. But right now we're not doing that. I'm just, I'm gonna plate that, then we're gonna put bolts in here. Uh, motor mounts are all on. I do have to go to the store and get motor mount bolts that go through there, I don't have any. 
We'll get a size and then we'll go from there. You had it in the wrong one. <laughs> Probably should use, <laughs> I probably should use washers, but this is just for mock-up. We're just gonna put it up in there and and I'll get new. <laughs> what, what, what did you say earlier about your name's not Haley? You don't drop things? <laughs> I'm probably gonna get new studs and bolts for her throttle body system. Uh -huh. um. Peep dad's new tattoos. <laughs> Thank you to my brother. Alrighty, we got the gaskets and all of the bolts in. Got this mounted up. Should be smooth sound now, yeah. right? Yeah, thanks for saying that. Now it's not going to be. <laughs> You jinxed it. So, it was a 50-50 shot. I took these bolts off of the engine that came out of it, 5.4, and uh, put them in. And they're a little long, so I think they're bottoming out because it feels like it's stripped. They're not stripped. If there is, I'm gonna have to go a hair bigger and put some, uh, I don't look, I mean, that does, but that's probably bottomed out. So. Looks like a trip to the stove. Yeah, we got. In between that, we got that the, size we got, and that. Where's those. the other one? In it. Okay, so we're gonna run to the store. We know this is the size we need. We need it two inches. This is a little bit too big. And then we're getting the bolts for the motor mounts, which I think half inch by three inch. So come on along. Okay, so we got it all, uh, transmission's all bolted on. Um, I don't have nothing inside. I don't have a flywheel. I don't have a torque converter. This is just mock-up. So we're going to be putting it in here. As you can see, I got motor mounts here ground so when we get it right I can bring my welder out tack it because that's all my welder will do um, right now she just draining as much as she can out of the transmission we didn't know until a little bit ago that there was transmission fluid we didn't want to make a mess so she just putting a little pressure on there and and we should be getting ready to try to lower it down in okay so we're about to get this up and put it in we just tried the headers. That side works so I not. So we're gonna have to sit down and figure out what to do. So this was also the same side that the other headers didn't fit because of the motor mount. So. And now this one is it's hitting the shifter yeah, rod. Back here, so uh, we'll see.
Okay, so let me show you. So everything the it's going in. You can see the motor mounts. I'm gonna have to bring the engine up a little bit. But what our problem is is right there at dipstick tube. So we're gonna bring the transmission up a little bit. But right now she's working on getting the uh, transmission mount bolted up so that we can see where the transmission is going to go so that's where we're at it looks like it's going to fit plenty of room i got i got space underneath the trans the pan just those mounts these are the mounts i'm gonna have to cut them short but as long as it's within a couple inches off We'll be good. You were talking about the one I was touching, right? Yeah. So how much? How much is that? I just asked you to measure it. I that's right there. So that is so that is from here, from here to the end, or here? Here. So is it like this? Yeah. Okay. So that we I got. Think, well, let's just say one inch. Let's just say one inch. And then this is here to here is seven and a half so you go over one in, one inch right there and i'm going to go over seven and a half and that's going to be perfect perfect because i need 62 63 will work so this one's going to work we got to take that mount off so bring that over here we got to take this off Put that on there, put that one on there. Probably have to get a new uh, U-joint. Where did that come from? What's that other one? This one? This one, the short one's out of that short bed. This one is out of the long bed, which had that transmission in it. New U-joints. So this isn't how you is do that. Is the U-joint the spring thing? That's this middle piece. Oh. So that gives you joint here, mm -hmm. and then up and down.
They might be coming for you. They probably thought you don't hurt yourself already. I don't hurt myself. He's saying that and it's about to happen just like you're about dropping stuff earlier. Oh, don't be pointing at me. Okay. Let that cool. And then uh, we'll get these tacked in enough that they'll stay and then I will probably pull the motor out I have to get the motor mount out of these up before we take it out I don't know if we have room to go up can you not mark where they need to go and then take the motor out and then what on tack with them like with sharpie no I don't want to do that so, yeah, but there's no way for us to pull the motor up. As you guys can see, try to show y'all. She's real close on both sides. And that's where the motor mounts are at the moment. So this is what's going on. So if you can see, going on so that side they look like the right right where they uh they look like they're the same forward so that's all good we're cleared around in the back and i think once i tack this side attack can always be ground off so that's not a big deal so once i tack this side we should be able to lower it down it won't move on this side, and then that will just pop into place. Maybe. Alrighty, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Do you expect from now until we leave for April for there to be a video every week, either Friday or Saturday, so keep an eye out for those. Also, I hope you guys enjoy what comes after this video. Have a good one. <laughs> okay. So, these are good to put in.